Hey guys, so uh, a couple of weeks ago now I finished my second ever marathon. Uh, it was the Oslo Marathon and it was a brutal course and it was so much fun and I ran a PR and today I'm gonna just give you a short and sweet recap of the day, how it felt, what happened, my pace, my uh, nutrition, just you know just a recap of the day so stay tuned for that. Before we get started, I just want to mention again my ebook. I have a new ebook that's out. There's a link in the description if you want to learn about getting started with running, uh, training, uh, all kinds of general tips and tricks on being a runner and living the running lifestyle. Do check out that ebook. On to the marathon. So I I didn't do any marathon training per se before this race. I uh, I trained for my half marathon that I do, did two weeks earlier and did mostly shorter long runs, 20 to 25K, and, uh, and some you know longer uh, intervals at like half marathon pace, a lot of threshold training, that sort of thing. Um, for a marathon, obviously, I would ideally wanna do more long, long runs, 30K plus, several of those, and some more big marathon pace, tempo runs, etc. So I didn't expect to be perfectly prepared for the marathon, Plus, it was also just two weeks following my half marathon, as I said. So, um, I knew for me, that's a little bit of a close call, recovering that quickly and still sort of maintaining fitness and getting into a marathon. But the reason I jumped into it, not only just because Oslo Marathon is like an awesome race, it's Norway's biggest race, thousands of people, everyone's out in the streets, it's just such a good vibe, but also just because I need more experience with the marathon, I, I wanted to give it another try. Uh, my ra my marathon last year from this my debut um, I'll put a video here was of course a horrible experience but a still kind of fun still and a, a learning experience for sure but I wanted to sort of improve my PR from 330 um, this course though is very slow it's a or it's a very hard course it's very hilly about 500 meters or so I think of elevation gain you're doing two loops in a half marathon loop that's got two huge hills. Uh, so it's a, it's, a, it's a slow course, so I knew I wouldn't be able to run at my capacity. That coupled with you know the lack of marathon training, etc., made me think that you know maybe with good marathon training I would be able to go sub three on a flat course, but without good marathon training and close to the half marathon and and also on this course, I actually thought 3.15 would be a realistic time to aim for. Uh, and so I did, I aimed for 3.15, started out feeling great. Um, I had my parents and my brother cheering uh, me on and I also had my friend Thomas um, on the bike along the course and he actually handed me bottles because this was the Norwegian championship in the marathon and they allowed contestants to have their own water boy <laughs> so Thomas handed me bottles a couple of places uh, I have lots of cool footage from the from the race I'm just gonna insert some of the, some of it here I was feeling good for the first half things were going smoothly I was hanging with the 315 group um, and, and and things were just looking great so check out some of this footage <laughs> Lägger <laughs> Hi, I'm 
Mikkel, kom igjen! Ja, men det er smart. Det går bra, men det føles bra. Det var bra. Flott. Veldig bra, Lov. In the second half, I started actually feeling, obviously, that it was starting to get a little harder. First half was like a breeze. I came through half in like 137 something, which is spot on 315 pace. Uh, but started working harder and predictably, uh, somewhere around the 30, 32k mark, the 20 mile mark, I, uh, I guess I, you could say I hit the wall. It wasn't for a lack of nutrition. I, I was taking about 90 grams of carbohydrates per hour, combination of glucose and fructose. Um, feeling good about that, drinking water at every station. There was 11 aid stations in total. So I feel like I was getting in proper nutrition. Obviously some marathon training with some really long runs would have ramped up my fat metabolism, metabolism even more, conserving glycogen. And that would probably be a a good thing and also you know who knows in terms of like my physiology and my genetics uh, whether I have large or small glycogen stores and whether my fat burning metabolism my ability to burn fat is genetically poor perhaps because that's what I kind of think that's another video altogether about you know whether or not I'm suited for the marathon but with just two marathons under my belt I'm I'm gonna need a lot more experimentation to to figure that out but Point is, I I hit the wall, I, I, glycogen was getting low, I would presume. Or if it was a muscular thing, perhaps, after the half marathon, not being quite recovered muscularly, perhaps. But somewhere around that 32k mark, things started getting really slow, progressively so. Slower and slower, harder and harder. It was absolutely brutal, and the last hill was just insane. So I'll show you some more footage here from the second half, where I was feeling horrible and um, and things were going very slow and I realized I wasn't going to be able to hit my 315 mark but I was fighting for a PR nevertheless and I didn't want to walk. Ja, där klarar du. Ja, det klarar det. Ja ja. Då är det bara bort och i brygge upp Samtalshaven. Ska prova värma dig hela vägen. Jag känner att den 350 på den. Men tror jag inte klarar ta den. Nej, då, det klarar du. Bara där. Ja, det klarar du. Nej, förra den. Nej. Det var fint. Går det tyngre og tyngre? Ja. Sliter du litt med... Du sa det hadde vondt et sted. Det går helt rundt greit. Ja. Nå har jeg bare vondt overalt. Ja. <laughs> det er egentlig sånn det skal være. Men det er kjell. Det er det. Det har gått sakte og sakte. Ja, men den 315-gruppen er ikke så langt unna, eller tror du? Det er ikke mulig. Du har ikke et ekstra gir. Det er så flink! Herregud! Kom igjen, Mikkel! Kom igjen! Nå er du ut, Marie! Kort igjen! Fy faen! So ran across the finish line in 3.25.52. So um, that's a PR, five minute PR on a tough course. Uh, still pretty far behind my theoretical capacity based off of like VDOT tables and based off of, uh, you know, like my half marathon PR of uh, 1.25. It's, it's uh, a little bit behind on that. But then again, you know, I haven't, perhaps ran the volume and done the training necessary for a marathon and and i didn't prioritize this race as i said i just jumped into it but you know that's irrelevant i'm very happy with it still i'm happy with my effort and it's it's actually made me really hungry for more marathons because i just find it such a fascinating distance it's it's it's, it's mysterious you know it's more than just it's, it's, it's less predictable, uh, you know, the 5k, 10k half marathon, fairly predictable what time you're going to do and what's going to happen in the race. But in a marathon, I realize it's very unpredictable what's going to happen after 20 miles and how you're going to, how, how that's going to work out for you. Even at the elite level, we see it all the time, right? People running really well until the last 10k and then just sort of fading. It's very common. So how to manage that and how to <clears throat> overcome it. That's an interesting experiment I'm gonna 
pursue for the next decade and and onward. Uh, if you want to read more about sort of the nitty-gritty details of my race, you should follow me on Strava. So just search for my name on Strava, uh, and you'll you can read my my marathon report. Pretty long, lots of text. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram, of course. I post lots of content there, little bits of videos from my daily life and 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 also from the race. So do check out my Instagram. There's a link in the description and my ebook, as I also mentioned. Uh, and finally, last plug probably is going to be the fact that I am a coach. <laughs> and if you are interested in learning about running, maybe just doing a consultation, discussing, maybe you have an upcoming race and you just want to discuss your nutrition plan or your pacing strategy, we can do that. Uh, we can also set up some uh, a subscription for coaching if you're interested in having a coach uh, on a more uh, long-term basis. So don't hesitate to reach out, leave a comment. Uh, send me a message on my website, links in the description, all that stuff. The marathon was fun. It was fun to have my parents, my brother. My, my brother actually ran with me at some point in the race. He jumped into the race and just ran with me for like two minutes. That was fun. Um, okay. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Tell me about your upcoming race. And I'll see you in the next video.